If your baby needs to have a little fun, then maybe you need a foldable cloth ball pit. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I bought this foldable cloth ball pit here, and I actually didn't buy it to entertain my baby. I actually bought it for a different reason, but I thought we would check it out, see what it's like in its intended form, and then I will let you know why I actually bought this. So, let's open it. So this is what we get. It actually comes in this pouch, and that is because it's foldable. I think it is meant to travel. This is just like a Tyvek material, so it should be pretty durable, but it's not like super premium or anything. And here is the ball pit. The user manual is just one page. I think it should be pretty self-explanatory. It does come in some different designs. I got it in this design because it is kind of manly, astronaut-focused. I always loved space as a kid. One thing I will say is that it doesn't come with any balls, so if you think that it's going to come with some, you are sorely mistaken. So you're gonna have to buy your own because a box like this isn't big enough for balls. But like I said, I don't really wanna use it for that. As you can see, it's kinda of got this tail here and that's because this whole thing opens up like this. In fact, I'm gonna to go to the fisheye lens here so I can get this all in. It does also come in a variety of different sizes. So depending on how big your kid is, you may need the bigger size or maybe the smaller size. I wanted to show you, I think this was the 30 inch, but I'll put a link to this item in the description below so that we know exactly. And what I will say here is that it expands out like this, I think 30 inches in diameter. You can see that each of these has, I don't know, it's like a cardboard or a plastic insert, so it's pretty rigid. It stands up on its own. Each of these little panels come out. It kind of looks a little starry right now, but it should just be round. And then obviously when you fill this up, the kids can sit in there. This stands probably about a foot tall right here, maybe 10, 11 inches. So you have a pretty big gate. Now, the reason I actually bought this is because I thought I could take it with me on trips and use it like a makeshift crib. So if you don't have a pack and play, what I was thinking here is I could actually just put this on like the spare bed in a hotel room and then put blankets or the baby mattress in here and then have the baby in here. And I don't have to worry about the baby rolling out or even if he's mobile, maybe crawling a little, getting out of this. So it's almost like a little tiny playpen. And because of the size and the portability of this, I thought this would be a better option than the entertainment value of this. Now, certainly it can be pretty fun. You can put toys in here. You don't have to worry about them getting scattered everywhere, but it does fold up pretty quickly. And like I said, I think you could use it for some other things too. And because it's not too tall, I can reach over that edge, put the baby in there, pick the baby up. So if you wanna pick up this portable cloth ball pit for your baby to keep them entertained with toys or balls, you could certainly do that. But if you wanna try to life hack it and use it for some other things too, I think you might be happy with that. I'm definitely gonna be using it for a variety of things. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.